Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today I'm doing a completely new video for my channel. So, uh, one of my lovely subscribers, Anne, asked if I would consider doing a weird movies recommendation video. Um, and I wasn't sure if people would be interested, but I thought if I do weird movies to book recommendations, then people might be interested. So today I'm gonna do five weird movies that I have seen relatively recently in the last year or so um, and recommend books alongside of them. So um, let me know if you like this video because I also was thinking to do one in October for maybe gory movies that I've liked or movies with uh, killer female main characters that I liked. Uh, yeah, so if you like this, uh, let me know and I'll do more in the future because my husband and I love to watch movies. We watch a lot of them. Uh, but today I just picked five weird ones that have really stuck out to me in the last year or so. And I'm gonna start off with the one that we just watched, I think two nights ago, and it was really good. So this is The Handmaiden. Uh, this was out in 2016 and it's a Korean film. It's set in the 1930s in Japan-occupied Korea. We are following a thief and con artist who is going to be a lady's maid and convince the Japanese lady of the manor to fall in love with and marry this rich man. Only the con artist knows that the rich man is another con artist as well and they're working in tandem to basically steal the rich lady's money. This adaptation is so brilliant. It, like, it should be rated R or NC-17. I think this is the most sexually explicit movie I have ever seen. So I think this ties so beautifully together the elements of the original Fingersmith, but it puts it in a completely unique, uh, queer, uh, Japanese-Korean setting. So this does have queer rep in here because um, one of the main elements is that the female con artist starts to fall for the lady and she's starting to have issues with the lady falling for the rich man, which obviously is a huge, like, <laughs> uh, snafu. So, uh, the two books that I want to recommend, obviously, Fingersmith by Sarah Waters, which the book, the movie is based on, so, like, obviously, um, but then Fingersmith, like, combined with um, Confessions of a Mask by Yukio Mishima, uh, which is about a young man who is exploring his queer identity in Japan. Um, and I think this has Japanese elements and queer elements and Fingersmith has queer elements and the original plot. So if you like either of those two books, definitely check out The Handmaiden Movie. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The next one I want to recommend is the movie Freaks, which came out in 2018. Um, this is kind of billed as a uh, dark, paranoid sci-fi fantasy, I guess is what you would say. Uh, so basically we're following a young girl who lives in this house that she's not allowed to leave. And her father is super paranoid and says like she can never go outside, she can never let anyone see her, um, and he always like comes in running when he comes back to the house like with food. Um, and one day she decides to go outside and she finds that time has stopped outside of the house. Uh, and she's trying to figure out like why and what happens. Um, this is really good. It's like, uh, it completely turns on its head any sort of like superhero or superpower movie that you've ever seen. And it just puts it in such a small setting of like the house and the father and the daughter. And I thought, yeah, it was excellent. Um, and the book that I'd recommend alongside this movie is um, Follow Me to Ground by Sue Rainsford, uh, which also deals with a father and daughter that live in a house together and they are not like other people. So they have the power to like heal and suck like illness out of humans. Um, or they can bury them in the ground uh, for more like severe illnesses. 
Um, and follow me to ground was so weird, so up my alley. And again, I love the hyper specific focus on like one setting and not that many characters. So again, there's the father, the daughter and the house and kind of it all centers around that. Uh, and yeah, so if you read follow me to ground, I recommend the movie freaks it's really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> and let's move on to the next one. So the next one is a straight up easy recommendation to movie. So the movie is Border, which is a Swedish film that came out in 2018. Um, this one is very, very weird. I think, yeah, it's the weirdest one <laughs> on this list today. Um, it's following a female troll who works alongside humans. She works as the border guard at an airport, like, cause she, her sense of smell is so good that she can sniff out like drugs um, from luggage like a mile away. So that's her day job. When one day she encounters a male troll who's coming through the airport as well. And it's very rare because she didn't know if there were any other trolls left. Um, and they kind of start up this bizarre, relationship um, where he is teaching her about how to be like a real troll and connection with nature and also like getting revenge and using human vices against the humans um, and she's torn between wanting to be with him and learning more about trolls um, and also like a fondness that she has left over because she's been working with humans for so long. Um, it's it's just very weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, so of course I'm going to recommend <laughs> Troll, A Love Story um, by Johanna Sinisalo. This is a Finnish, isn't it? Yeah, this is a Finnish book uh, about a young gay photographer who stumbles across teenagers beating up a young troll um, and he rescues the troll, brings it back to his apartment and then is like, how do I feed a troll? Like, how do I help it survive? What do I do with the troll? Um, and that's one element. And the other element is the history of trolls in Finnish literature and like, uh, culture. So I thought that this was brilliant. I like always recommend this book if you like weird stuff, if you like trolls. Um, and the other one that I will say as well is, um, The Forest of Hours by Oh, Kirsten Ekman. I'm not going to stand and get it. I'll just put the picture here. Um, I tried to read this. It is following a troll uh, in Scandinavia, but it's long. It's like a saga through 500 years. And I'm pregnant. My attention span is so short right now uh, because I get uncomfortable. I can only read for like 20 minutes in the same position. So just like that really long book isn't what I'm into right now, but it is really good. Um, so I read the first, I think 50 pages and I decided I'm gonna put it down, but it is not a DNF where I like donate it. I'm gonna keep it and read it like later when my attention span lengthens again. So that also deals with trolls and I would recommend probably for this movie. All right, um, so the next one I wanna recommend is Villains, which is a 2019 movie release. Um, and this just took me by complete surprise. I was like, <laughs> what are we doing in this movie? What is going on? But there's so many things to love. So first off, you have four main characters. Two of them are thieves and they have just like stolen money and they're uh, getting away, but they're like incompetent thieves. So they ran out of gas. So they are running to the nearest house to like steal a car and maybe steal money and then they can escape again. However, when they break into this house, they discover a young girl chained in the basement of the house. Uh, and when they go up from the basement, the two people who live in the house are waiting for them. And the two people that are living in the house are Kira Sedgwick, who plays the wife, and the husband is um, the guy from Burn Notice, like the spy from Burn Notice. Um, and I was just like, what the heck? What is going on? So it just becomes this super tense, like where 
these happy-go-lucky kind of like <laughs> um, uh, fly by the seat of their pants thieves become wrapped up in <laughs> some much darker shenanigans than they anticipated and things get like dark and twisty from there but something else to mention is that the whole movie is shot so beautifully and the inside of the house is like 70s style where it's like shag and there's like crystal chandeliers and perfect everything is just so and every room is color coordinated like you know that like certain type of pea green that was really popular and like the musty marigold orange is another room every single shot is a perfect set and I was like this movie is weird as fuck and I'm not mad about it um so the book that I want to recommend for villains is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. I don't think I've talked about this in like a good hot minute, um, but this is about a woman who marries a man and he has some very dark secrets locked in the house. And what happens behind closed doors is very different than how the couple appears to everyone else. Um, so I think that both stories are like people getting in over their heads. In the movie, it's the thief couple, and in this one, it's the wife. Um, and both of the houses act as <laughs> the realm of darkness and adventure and like torture. So, um, yeah, I really recommend this. I haven't read more by B.A. Paris, but um, this one I was really surprised by how much I was like, that was damn good. So yeah, uh, recommend. And the last one that I'm gonna talk about today is Swallow, a movie that came out in 2019. Uh, this is again, visually stunning. I really love visually beautiful movies. Um, so I think on this list, The Handmaiden is absolutely beautiful, stunning. Um, Villains, again, is visually stunning and swallow is beautiful so every shot is again like a a set piece and they use muted nature tones and neons to really like contrast the different elements um, and we're following a young wife named hunter who has recently become pregnant um, and she finds that her family and her husband's family is really domineering and kind of takes away her bodily autonomy uh, so in order to get it back, she starts um, eating things which are not edible um, and are increasingly more and more dangerous to the baby and herself. Uh, so this is known as pika, when you eat things that are not nutritionally valuable, but she goes beyond that to eating like thumbtacks and marbles. Um, and obviously like when her husband finds out, things progress from there. Um, and it becomes really a discussion of um, independence and bodily autonomy. Uh, and so what I want to recommend for this is two books where the, the bodily autonomy and consumption are key to the plot. So first is Hybrid Child. So obviously they're vastly different, okay? Like Swallow is um, like a dark drama and or like psychological thriller I guess you'd say and this one is straight up um, sci-fi and maybe horror as well so this is following like I've said I've recommended this so many times recently a war machine who if they sample something whether it's like human animal or like machine they can whatever they eat they take the form of um, and they retain the memories and the powers, the autonomy of whatever they just sampled. Um, so that is the main character in this book. Um, and the other one that I want to recommend, but I haven't read yet, it's on my TBR for this month, um, is Earth Eater by Dolores Reyes, uh, who is an Argentinian woman in translation. This is about a woman who, if she consumes dirt, then she can see visions of, uh, I believe, what happened there or like um, people who were murdered. So like when women around her in the town are going missing, 
Uh, she has to decide if she's going to do that and like harm herself in order to find out what happened to the women or if she's going to protect herself and like not eat the dirt. Uh, so I haven't read that one yet. I am reading it like this month, very, very soon. I just wanted to recommend it because again, it's like autonomy and consumption of dirt, whereas swallow is consumption of dangerous items. Um, yeah, so those are the five movies that are weird and that I've seen recently and the books that I would recommend alongside of them. And thank you so much to Anne for the nice suggestion. So without further ado, I'm going to say bye for now. I hope you're having a lovely day and yeah, see you. <laughs>